Sam. So I had a comment that said something like what's her everyday makeup routine or something along those lines. And so I went back and looked in my like latest videos and it's been such a long time since I did like an actual like full face foundation every day my go-to makeup routine. Usually if I'm just like either going to film just a regular sit down video where I'm not like reviewing anything on my face or if I'm not filming at all this is usually what I do and so I figured I would just go ahead and film it for you guys today so I'm going to just do it kind of like a voiceover so it's not quite as long as my usual ones. This is like from start to finish so from my primer to my foundation, blush, shadows, mascara, lip, like this is everything that is like my go-to everyday full face makeup routine. But this is my current one. I just wanted to update you guys so that you guys know so that I can kind of like link back to that if people are wondering like what I wear on a daily basis. So I hope you guys find this helpful. Thank you so much to the person who kind of like inspired me to do this. I cannot remember your name, but you had you mentioned something in the comments as far as like what is her go-to makeup or what's her everyday makeup or what makeup does she wear every day. I can't remember what she put, but it was something along those lines. So I hope you guys find this helpful. I will also be including all the brushes that I use on a daily basis as well. I'll link everything down below so if there's something that you see, you guys can easily click on the link and it will take you right on over to the product. I hope you guys enjoy and if you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye! Okay, so the first thing I do is take this Vichy Thermal Water Spray. I don't exactly know what it's called right now, but I will link it down below, so don't you worry. And I spray that all over my face, and then I just give it a good waft so that it dries off. And I take my Primed and Peachy Primer from Too Faced. I just take a little bit of this, and I basically put it in the spots where I'm super oily, so for me, that is my T-zone, so kind of like right underneath my eyes, by the sides of my nose, and then my forehead and my chin gets greasy as well. So I find that it really helps to like fill in the pores and it really does help to control the oil and just make everything really smooth and kind of like poreless and I press it in as well, that's a huge trick. Next, I'm gonna take my Estee Lauder Double Wear and my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and I'm gonna take my SL Miss Glam Beauty Sponge and I'm just gonna blend that all over my face. I basically just do like half and half of each of the different foundations. And then I'm going to apply my Tarte Shape Tape. I have it in the color light. And I basically just draw a fun little design on my eyeballs. And then I blend it out with the same exact sponge that I used for my foundation. I just love the sponge. It's my favorite. It's so big. And it just gets the job done really, really quickly, which for me is key. And I'm just going to keep on blending that baby out so that it doesn't have a weird line going from my concealer to my foundation. Then I'm just taking my NARS Translucent Setting Powder and I just apply this around my chin and smile line area because that for me is the worst part as far as like texture goes. And this does a really good job of filling in those fine lines and pores. But then for my under eyes, I use a different powder now, which I love. This is the, I have no idea how to say it, Mustav, Mustav, I don't know, I'll, leave, I'll link it down below. It's a powder, but it has more of a kind of like white shade, so it really helps to brighten underneath my eyes, but it also has like a pore filling property, but for some reason it just looks bad on my chin after time. So I just stick to the upper part of my face because that's the nicest. Then I take my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Compact uh, Powder foundation and I just put that all over and then I'm moving on to my Estee Lauder and Victoria Beckham bronzer this one is really nice it's very subtle it has like a nice light color it is matte I absolutely love the packaging it's gorgeous so I basically use this to contour everywhere and I would definitely recommend this if you guys are more fair light skinned you will love this because it's not super dark, it's not super orange, it's just like a really nice neutral contour shade. Um, for me, sometimes I need a little bit more um, of just like a deepness in certain spots. So this is like my first layer and then I go back over with my MAC powder and that one's just a slight deeper kind of like more warm color. So especially when I am self tanned, I will go back over a little bit with that and just kind of add it, but when I'm not self-tanned, this bronzer is perfect. So see, this is the MAC one that I'm telling you about. So you can see it's like a little bit warmer, so it kind of just like 
chisels out my, my cheekbones just a little bit better. Um, the other one is so kind of subtle that you have, I don't know, it just doesn't show quite as much. So I like a little bit more intensity. Then I'm taking my Ambient Light, what is it, Lighting Edit number three, I think, palette. I love the blush in there. It's absolutely amazing. It just has this gorgeous glow. You can see it, like it's already highlighting my cheeks without even putting a highlighter on yet, and it's the perfect pink shade. I've been wearing this nonstop. I love it. Then I'm taking these two drugstore highlighters that I discovered. One is by Maybelline, one is by Physicians Formula, and I like to layer these on top of each other. So I start with the Maybelline, and that one's a little gold, which is why I like to layer the Physicians Formula one on top, because it adds just a little bit more of a kind of like glow, and it's not as golden. It um, just, I don't know, it just makes it pop really, really well. So I add this to my cheeks, my upper lip, and then of course my nose. And then I go back in with that Physicians Formula Pearls one and you can see how it kind of just like intensifies and mixed together. These ones are beautiful. They melt into the skin. They are affordable. You literally cannot go wrong. Um, I will link all my brushes down below guys so that if you have been trying highlighters without a snazzy brush, maybe you might want to pick this one up. Morphe is inexpensive and um, there's always coupon codes. Then I go back over with my SL Miss Glam Fan Brush. I love this brush for intensifying the highlight and really kind of melting it into the skin and just making it like super intense. Then I'm just combing out my crazy brows and I'm taking my Ardell Stroke Brow um, Feathering Pen. This is in the shade Taupe. I love this. It's also drugstore so it's very inexpensive and it just is such a nice thin precise little kind of brush tip that you can really create some nice like kind of more, I don't know, feathery strokes. And it is water, I mean, I don't know if it's waterproof, I don't dunk my face in water, but it stays on all day. Like no one can smudge it off, it's amazing. Then I just go in with my Makeup Forever Brow Gel in number 15 and just kind of set everything in place. And it kind of like lightens up my brows a little bit as well. Then I'm taking MAC In Sync and Boldly Bare Lip Liners. I first put In Sync all over my lips fill in like every single part of my lip and then I go back in with the Boldly Bare especially around the kind of like edges and then I kind of just I don't know like ombre it into like from the outside to the inside so that it kind of just like all blends out a little bit but the lightness is still kept into the center of the lip just to kind of make them look a little bit fuller than they actually are. Then I'm taking this amazing, like, I don't know what it is, it's like a balm from the body shop. I'll link it down below. Um, and it's, you can use it on your cuticles, your hands, but I love using it on my lips to prep before lipstick because it's not too glossy, but it really does help to kind of moisturize and hydrate. Then I'm taking my Nicki Minaj The Pink Print Lipstick. I love this, I've kind of been obsessed. It's like the perfect light pink and I just think it's amazing. I also really like the formula of it as well. Then I'm going back in with that Positions Formula highlight and I'm just going ahead and highlighting my brow bone. This is nice because it's glowy enough but it's subtle if that makes sense. And then I also do the inner corner with this as well just to kind of brighten up and make sure that I look a little bit more lively. And then the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and take my Just Peachy Mattes palette from Too Faced. I have been loving this palette. It is so amazing. I'm basically taking peach tea and putting that in my crease. That's kind of like my transitional shade. And I'm just blending back and forth and making sure that it kind of blends into that brow bone shade. Um, just so that it's nice and seamless. Next I'm taking, ooh, I can't remember this color. Is it Peach Sangria? I can't remember. I'll put it in the description box. But this is more of a peachy kind of orangey shade and I'm taking this and I'm putting that into my crease again. Just kind of bringing it down onto the lid a little bit more than the other shade. And then I wipe off my brush and then I blend out into that brow bone shade as well so that everything is nice and seamless. And then I take a darker shade in the palette. It's like the dark brown one. I'll link it down below or I'll put it down below. And I'm putting this all over my lid and this is basically just going to make that really nice warm kind of like chocolatey smoky eye for the fall. It's my favorite way to wear my eyes in the fall. I like to go a little deeper and darker and smokier. And this combination is really pretty because it reminds me of like all of the colors of the leaves in fall. It's just like fabulous. So I'm basically just patting that all over my lid and then blending that out into the crease as well. 
that um, this palette is pigmented so I do recommend making sure that you wipe off your brush before you bring that one up because otherwise you'll have way too much brown in your crease and you want to keep it more kind of like on the lid versus like in the actual crease. Then I'm taking that Physicians Formula highlighter, highlighter again and I'm just kind of bringing that into the inner corner just a little bit to brighten it up. And the next thing I'm doing is taking those three shades that I put on the lid and I'm kind of blending them out on my lower lash line as well in the order that I put them on my lid just to kind of make it a little smokier down there and add a little bit of, I can't talk, a little bit of color and kind of deepness. Then I'm taking this amazing liner from Marc Jacobs. I don't know the color, but again, I'll put it down in the description box below. I love these liners. They are the best in the entire universe. I highly recommend taking the splurge and doing it. Next, I'm curling my lashes. This is from Tweezerman. I love it. It's rose gold, but it's also fabulous. And then I'm taking my Holy Grail primer. This is from Lancome. It is the Seals Booster XL. I always prime with this. It's amazing. I can't live without it. I've bought so many, it's ridiculous. And I always do two coats of that. And then I go in with my Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. And I also do two coats of that. It doesn't transfer, it doesn't crumble, it stays on all day. It doesn't go up onto my brow, like it's just the best mascara ever and it gives you a really great amount of volume if you don't wanna wear false lashes. So I'm just carrying on doing that. Oh yes, now I'm applying it to my lower lashes as well, just a little bit, more so in the outer part. Then I'm taking this lip gloss from Benefit, it's the Punch Pop, I believe the color is Sugar Daddy. Again, it'll be down below. This is nice, it's hydrating. It's the perfect amount of like pinky peachiness and it adds a really beautiful gloss to your lips so that they look nice and plump and delicious. Next, I'm going back in with that highlighter once again and intensifying it with that SL Miss Glam fan brush just to make sure that it's super amazing. Then I'm taking my peach mist, shake it up because this one is mattifying and otherwise you will get splotches of weirdness on your face. So shake it up really good. I apply this all over my face in a generous amount. This is mattifying. It will help keep you non-oily all day. It really does work great. But I like to go back in with the Hangover Prime or Hangover RX Spray from Too Faced and just hit it in the spots where I have highlighter just to kind of intensify. And that's it, guys. There is my look. I hope you guys enjoy and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye. Aww.